Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, you know, I know I've been away for so long, um, and that's because I had a legitimate reason um, why I have come here today to explain what has been going on, you know, where I've been, um, and yeah. So before I get started, I just want to say thank you for the people that have stayed on my channel, you know, the, my subscribers subscribers thank you um and if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit that like like button make sure you hit that um what's it called oh my days make sure you hit the bell button so that you are notified when i post because i am going to start posting once a week at least um so yeah so the reason why i have come here today is just to explain to you what has been going on where i have been and am i okay am i not that's the real question well i am okay if i'm here but you know so and if i'm looking on the floor i'm actually looking at my laptop because i just recently learned how to connect my computer to my camera so that I could, you know, live view it and see what what I'm doing instead of looking at the little little monitor that it comes with that comes with the camera, you know, the little flippy flip screen. Um, so yeah, so it's more better if I like look on here because it's just much more easier and I can see more clearly. So that is why I am looking on the floor. I'm not actually looking on the floor. I'm looking at my laptop. So yeah. Okay, so yeah, let's just let's just get into it. Let's let me tell you guys what has been going on. So the reason why I have been away for so long is because I recently had an operation. Um and I don't know if you could tell, but it's on my neck. Um I don't know if you could tell but that is where I had my operation and the operation that I had was in my thyroid and if you guys don't know what you know the thyroid does or what what it what its um, benefits are you know what what the thyroid does then I'll leave a link in the description bar below so that you guys know what I'm talking about um but just the brief of what the thyroid does it creates hormones for them and this this thing that I'm going to be talking about is very common especially in women um some men do have it but it's, it's you know very rare it's mainly in women so let's just start from the very beginning of how this all happened so i had a lump in my throat you know for a very long time but i didn't really take notice of it um i didn't really bother um because it didn't really affect me or it didn't really hurt me um you know it didn't cause any problems to me so i just left it and i think i had it for like a year or two i honestly cannot remember but it was a very long time ago um, you know, and then people kept asking me if it hurts and I was like, no, it doesn't because it didn't affect me whatsoever. Um, but then I went to the doctors to just get checked out and see, you know, if I was okay, if there was any bigger problems, you know, because anything, anything can happen. So I just went to the doctors to get checked out. And... I basically went to the doctors and he referred me to the hospital just to get blood tests done and scans. Um, so I had a blood test done and I had a scan and then I saw, you know, my specialist um, and he explained to me, you know, briefly, briefly what what's going on. Um, and then he told me to get another blood test. Uh, 
sorry, another scan done. So he told me to get another scan done. Um, and that was a biopsy, I think that's what it's called, a biopsy, where they take an injection and put it in your neck to just get some cells um, so that they can examine it and see what's going on. Um, mine came to, basically, it's, it's not like cancer stages, but it's like stages for the thyroid, and it's one to five, and mine came back to number four. One meaning there's not enough cells, two meaning that it's not cancer, three or four meaning that there might be a possible chance, and five meaning definitely cancer. Mine came back to a number four. So I then went to my specialist and then he told me, you know, everything that was going on. He told me I had a lump in my thyroid. Um, he told me, you know, the stages that I was at. He told me what I had to do to remove it. He, he told me if I didn't remove it, what would happen. Um, and if I didn't remove it, it would have gotten, the lump would have gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. And it would have caused problems and... It would have gone to the back of my throat um so you know the best option for me was to actually get it removed so when you know then i had more blood tests and then i had more scans um i had a ct scan i just kept having more blood tests and more scans um and then I had my, my actual operation date was on the 4th of September. Um, so yeah, that, that's, when, that's when it all happened. But the original plan was for me to basically, if you know what a thyroid looks like, if anyone is going through the same, you know, um, same problem, it's fine because it's very common okay um you know at first when i heard cancer there might be a possible chance that it was cancer um i was just like what like what's going on and stuff i was like so shocked and i was scared and i was just so upset but then when my nurse told me um what the actual thyroid does and that it's you know the most curable cancer and when she told me that it will all be okay because it's very common the cancer is not common but the thyroid problem is because a lot of people have you know um either low thyroid or they have hyperactive thyroid so it just depends um everyone's different obviously a nurse told me um, and explained to me what the thyroid actually is then I was a bit more you know a bit more okay with that um, but the original plan was to basically remove if you know what the thyroid looks like it looks like a butterfly and it's literally right here um, in the neck um, I'll get a picture and insert it of how it looks there's a body there's like wings and there's like a little body in the middle and my lump was right in the middle of the body so the original plan was to actually get that lump and remove it and examine that under um under a mas microscope while i was in the theater room in my operate while i was in the operation room in the theater there was going to take the lump out and examine it and see if it was cancer if it was if it was not cancer they would have left the the wings and stitched it back up again and if it was cancer they would have, would have removed the whole thing and yeah so they would have just removed the whole thing and stitched it back up so when i was in the theater room they you know took the lump out first and they did what they said they was going to do so they took the lump out first they examined it and they actually did find a bit of cancer in the lump but it was just in the lump it wasn't actually in the wings but they wanted to remove the wings as well because they didn't want to cause you no know, problems in the future so they removed the whole thing out and then obviously i was in the theater room for four hours my operation was for four hours um i stayed in the hospital for 
three days and two nights. Now that they've removed the whole thyroid out, like I was saying, the thyroid creates hormones. So because I don't have a thyroid anymore, um, you know, because I don't have a thyroid anymore, I need to take supplements, I need to take tablets to replace replace that, if that makes sense, so that it's doing the job. So, yeah, so that, that's what really happened to me and I just wanted to take the time off to rest and recover. Um, as you can tell, it is healing nicely, um, but obviously from the inside it's still healing. Yeah, that, 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 that's what happened to me. But you know what, honestly, I'm so grateful that I'm still here um, and everything happens for a reason. So this happened to me for a reason. Um, if anyone's going through the same thing and you know what to talk about it and they're scared, don't, don't be because it's the most curable cancer. Well, if you do have cancer in your thyroid, um, it's the most curable one. So yeah, that, that's what happened to me. So that is why I was away. Um, I was getting asked a lot about what what happened to me and where I've been and so that is what happened to me if any of you have been through this and you know you wanna you wanna talk to me about it I'm more than you know happy to hear your stories it's very common and especially in women you know it happens to men as well but it's mainly in women because we have more hormones now that I need to do this last treatment it's basically called radioactive iodine and because i still have leftover tissue in my neck they want to get rid of the tissue in my neck so that the cancer doesn't come back so what the treatment is is basically a capsule was like radiation therapy type of thing i don't know what it's called radiation um and that um capsule i take by take by mouth and that will obviously get rid of the tissue but before that I actually need to go on a like low iodine diet so there's certain things I cannot eat for three weeks um and then then after three weeks you know I'll take the capsule and you know I can't be around anyone for at least a week or so because of radiation, I can't be around people or anything because obviously anything can happen. So, so that's what's been going on. Um, and hopefully, after a week, it's, it's gone. Like the, the tissue that's left over in my neck, it's all gone. And then after that, hopefully, I shall still be recovering and then hopefully get back to normal but you know for now um, I'm just taking every day as it comes and I took some time for myself uh, to just you know recover and just think about myself and my health because health is very important um, so yeah so that is my situation now um, I just want you to say if anyone is going through the same situation and they want to talk about it, you know, leave your comments in the description bar, leave your comments below and I will get back to you and I will, you know, I feel like we should all support one another. So if, like I said, if any of you guys want to talk about it, I'm more than happy to help you guys. Um... You know, I'm all, I'm all, the, I'm all for helping people and seeing a smile on people's faces. And yeah, so that's what's been going on, and I really just wanted to say thank you for the people that have subscribed. And if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe. Um, I will be posting at least once a week, hopefully. Make um, sure you follow me on my social medias. I will, um, put it up here, I think, or here. Yeah, here. I'll put it here or or wherever um yeah make sure you follow me on my social medias i will start 
hopefully posting more i know i keep saying that i keep saying that i'm gonna post more but honestly because of what has been going on i really just wanted to take the time back and just you know just really rest and think about my health so yeah i will be posting more so thank you guys for watching and hopefully i shall see you soon